to all the gang stalkers, because this thing is going um, haywire. It's everywhere. Listen to me very carefully. This is what God showed me. God has already sent the order to put generational curses on all persons that participated in gang stalking. Gang stalking is a no fault. If you are a victim of gang stalking, it is a no fault. According to Jesus Christ, the people who are getting gang stalked are innocent people who has fallen in the hands or in the place or in the house with a narcissist. It could have been somebody that you were dating. Um, it could have been an aunt, a sister, a sister-in-law. It could have been a brother. Um, it could have been even a co-worker as far as what God is showing me, etc. Okay? Uh, basically, uh, he is showing me that this thing is based on jealousy. Uh, the gang stalking crew is, I would say, a gang. That is what he's showing me. That spread all over the United States. How did this happen? Uh, basically, uh, God sent on a, an order for all witchcraft workers, all voodoo sorcery workers, black magic workers, whomever, okay? Uh, sent on an order uh, for them to, I think he sent a deaf order because he wants all the witchcraft to stop. So because uh, the people of the witchcraft crew would not stop, he had to send out an order to stop them. In the process of him sending out the order, the witchcraft people decided that they're not going to die. So what they did was they rounded up this idea of going after people who has godly energy. Uh, you don't have to necessarily be under Jesus Christ. I have seen people who have very excellent energy and they're not a remnant like me. Okay. And what they're doing is they're siphoning your energy. Uh, they're pulling your energy by astral projecting, not only by astral projecting, by doing voodoo and sorcery. This is what God is showing me. It is done by voodoo and sorcery. This is the type of magic they are using. All magic are different. Um, there's also a kundalini uh, magic that they are doing um, to do these kind of spell works. How are they doing these spell works? A lot of people who are gang stalk victims have said that their car have been robbed, their house have been robbed, um, et cetera, et cetera. Now, when a person is working, working witchcraft, they have to uh, steal something of yours to work the witchcraft, okay? And um, if they even get a piece of mail with your name on it, or if they get uh, information about you, or um, something, of a piece of clothing, or something like that, um, then they can process the witchcraft. Another way they're doing it is through astral projecting. Uh, astral projecting is a device that they're dropping by your house in order for them to come in and out your house and astral project. What is astral projecting for people who do not know? It is an out-of-body experience. It is when a person goes and it's like, uh, I guess they meditate to go into the spiritual realm and they cause their spirit to come out of their body and they walk around like a spirit. Okay, and this is probably the easiest way to do witchcraft. Okay, some of these people who are uh, doing the gang stalking are uh, maybe some of your family members that's trying to put generational curses on you because they have to pay the debt. Always remember that God is the owner and creator of all things. He owns the spiritual realm. He owns the animals. He owns the tree. He owns the firmament. He owns the uh, sky, the stars, the moon. Um, he owns the sun. Okay? He owns hell. Why did God create hell? Where is he going to put all you evil people? Okay? He created the heavens. He created the animals. He created the sea. He created everything. There's nothing you do that can pass God. 
So now God has sent out the order for generational curses upon everyone who has participated in gang stalking. Every principality that they are using, they are using principalities. So all the principalities that they are using, they feel like they're doing the witchcraft on you. But you have to understand, God can control the principalities. So the principalities know that you cannot be touched. God has sent out an order to the principalities and told them that they are not to touch. They are not to send out any curses or he will come himself and destroy them. So no principality can put a curse on any person who is a gang stalker victim. So a lot of people need to calm down. If you was not with Jesus Christ, you need to give your life to Jesus Christ because that is the only protection that is going to protect you right now. If you want to be in that um, type of protection, you have to be under Jesus Christ or it will not come to you. Uh the generational curses that God has sent out is going to take out innocent people in their family bloodline. So the generational curse will start with the person who has participated down to their children, down to their children's children's children, down to their et cetera, et cetera, until God chooses that one person to break that generational curse. Okay? Uh this is the same thing that we were dealing with from the beginning of time. Somebody made a stupid decision and caused a generational curse in their bloodline. And people would not be able to function in their bloodline, not, not knowing why. There is a lot of curses that goes out. Some people can't get married. They can't have kids. They can't hold a job. They can't keep money in their pocket. So all those curses went back down to them. Even if the person is in your family, the curse has reversed back to them. So that generation, if you have an aunt, that's the one who started your gang stalking. It starts, the generation curse starts from your aunt down to her children, etc. And down and down and down. Excluding you and your children. Do you get it? Anybody who participated in your family with the generation, um, with the uh, gang stalking, those people also will inherit generational curses, okay? Other people who has maybe a friend or somebody who is jealous of them, they will inherit generational curses. As far as what God is showing me, everybody who is a victim of gang stalking is a no fault. No fault. The things that these people are doing, um, as far as... Uh, uh, gang stalking and doing all these other things has put them in big trouble because now they have taken themselves to another place where they have touched very highly illegal things. Okay? Because they felt like they had access to all your information. So some of your information might be hacked. You might be a, a person of identity fraud. Okay, so they took it to another level. And there's some other things that God is doing, some other things that they're doing, um, he's doing. These people might have to uh, pay the consequence of maybe doing 10 to 20 years in life because some of the things they touch was highly illegal. Uh, another thing that the gang stalkers do is if they know somebody who knows somebody who knows somebody, they start sabotaging your stuff, your job. You go somewhere, you can't get it done because they have made friends with this person. Somebody knows somebody and has destroyed something with you. Okay, so they're in all your business. Um, I'm going to have to do a part two. Um. But I did say this before, I'm going to do the part two and tell you again.